started yet, but does Sam it actually has? It's a meteorological autumn starts today. Right, Sam? I'm paying attention. All right, but we're talking fall fashion. Yes, I'm getting a round of applause from uh, the one and only. So what's sexy and hot this year, this fall? Well, Maria Casabianca knows better than anybody else, and she's here to tell us what's in this year. So what's the scoop? What's hot and sexy? Well, with sexy for fall, one of the great things that I love personally is leather. That's huge. Okay. So we have leather pants and also leather jackets. All right, and the leather pants, so mannequin to the left, or wool mannequin, because I guess these, I don't know, maybe they're androgynous mannequins. Anyway, uh, so leather pants over here and a leather jacket over here. Right. Okay. The key is you don't want to wear them together. That looks a little bit like, that's unless you're a rock star. And unless and you're in a motorcycle gang. That's true. That's okay. Leather's on the bike or on stage, I suppose. Now, what is different about this year's fashions for fall from maybe the last year or two? This year, a lot of the clothing is closer to the body, where last year there was a lot of oversized tops and maybe a little roomier. This year, it's a lot more closer to the body. And why is that? Is there, is, there any, is there any telling about why that changes to that? Uh, well, it's whatever goes down, whatever the designer thinks is mm -hmm. great and looking and what looking ahead what's going to look better on people and also they need you to go out there and buy some new items for your wardrobe i suppose that's true and it helps to sell right can you keep some of the old stuff absolutely and you can incorporate some leather pieces like adding a leather jacket to what you already have it's great with jeans and a, and a great little top um, and also faux leather is great because you know leather pants can get quite pricey and kind of kind of sweaty i would think too Oh, I don't know, faux leather might the, be the same thing. The fabric they use and make the faux leather today is actually very good. And it can pass for leather sometimes. Gotcha. It's all the way they treat it. I so. see. All right, now we're going to, so we're going to peel off a layer or two because it is fall, not winter. Right, right, so we're going to start with the hat. So I'm going to talk a little bit about hats because that's great too. And don't forget, leather is great for men and women. So it goes both ways. A man can wear a leather jacket. It could be very sexy. Does it have to be black leather? No, not okay. at all. But leather is the thing. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so certainly. So the hat. hats as well is great for men and women. So both, it, you know, there's different shapes. There's wide brim, there's fedora shapes like this one. And um, they look great with an outfit, and you can dress it up, dress it down. Right. So you can peel her hat Are you going to take this off? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to talk about uh, oh, okay. sheer. Yes. This is great because it's sheer, but it's not completely see-through. Right. So there's a hint of something going on underneath. Semi-opaque, you could say, right? Exactly. Oh. So lazy pieces, a little see-through. So if you take away her Am I supposed top, to do this now? No, just lift oh, from the bottom. Up. Okay. And Don't want to be tearing okay. anything here, right? Here. Okay. Now, okay. this is where things get maybe a little bit more, um, I don't know, hot. Interesting, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so we've got the leopard skin kind of look here. Well, the animal print is big, and it doesn't only have to be for undergarments, but it's great if you're wearing it underneath, you're taking off your top, and you're revealing something a little more interesting underneath. But right. she, uh, animal print could be in a shirt, it could be great as just um, on a scarf, an accessory item, too. All right. And we can leave this on because we already know what the weather is. We're not going to take the Right. Off. Okay. How right. about this? We've got so the leather jacket here. We're going to peel We've already talked a bit about that. Exactly. Right. So let me help this off. Okay. And then underneath, we have a great um, little black dress. Now, a little black dress is always sexy. Yes. But this oh. is a little more gathered. It can hide some areas that you might not be so happy about. And um, the slit up the front is, is very nice because it's just a little bit of Legs showing. Yep. Not overwhelming. Okay. And uh, this is a neckwear. Is this particularly uh, the chosen? The sparkle is great for fall and very sexy. Uh, great sparkling piece, either shorter or long, and a lot of layers is good. Gotcha. By the way, and, and this is pretty much everything. Although no, I shouldn't say so because most fun you can have with well, your on, right? Yes. Well, if you just hike up her Talk about dress the leggings a little bit. Yep. So okay. these are fishnets. Yes. And they're great. They're great in black as well. They could be a lot more dramatic in black. You don't necessarily need to wear black. The the nude is also great. Okay. But the fishnet. And I did notice you brought a boot. I did. And the special thing about this boot, it's over the knee. Okay. Which is great. Now so, there's one with the fishnets too. Absolutely. Very sexy. Now, now you're talking. Now we don't spend as much time, time talking about men and their fashion, but there is men's fall fashion, right? Absolutely. And for men, I mean... It's, again, you can do leather, you can do hats, a great perfume is great for men, can be very sexy, a great jacket, mm -hmm. um, a great uh, a longer button-down coat is great. 
So there's a lot of different things that you can do for men. I'm a little bit more dressed for work, but does this work in fall? A suit is always. I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm kind of suit and tie. Black and blue colors Perfect. today. So, uh, you know what? This is fantastic.